Hey there, Clashers. It is your host, Galadon. You are watching Clash of Clans Attacks, and today I just have three very special words for you. Ho, ho, ho. Well, okay, so technically one word three times. But yes, we are talking about the winter update. It is time. Clash of Clans and Supercell have announced the winter update is coming. Sneak peeks are starting today. And I know you guys are just as excited as I am to see what type of gifts Supercell has in store for us this year. But we don't have to wait any longer to look at the 2014 holiday tree. There it is with a very special extra. Yes, we get actual literal gifts around the tree this year at random intervals, randomly spawning around the tree are these very cool looking gifts kind of similar to the previous year's uh, Santa strike bomb gifts that got left behind and you have to be equally careful about these if you want to preserve them these special holiday gifts are not cleared like a gem box or a Halloween headstone no just a touch on these more like a tombstone from a raider killed in battle will clear them so I know there's gonna be a lot of people out there who are gonna be very carefully trying to preserve these as long as they can and maybe some frustrated fingers who accidentally clear them uh, but you can clear them one at a time uh, several will spawn around the tree over a period of time probably roughly one a day or so I would imagine uh, so it'll be very interesting to see uh, who is able to save those for as long as possible and definitely going to add a very festive look to our villages this year of course that in addition to the snow that'll be falling constantly throughout the entire holiday season and of course the snow capped bushes and trees that will fill the edges of our villages uh, always a cool look I always look forward to this time of year in Clash of Clans. It is just a fantastic look and it is going to be a lot of fun. This update is going to have a lot of great surprises in it and uh, this is just the beginning of a very cool update season. Now I won't tease you guys, we'll go ahead and clear some of these presents here. And the last one there. So 5,000 elixir each. So uh, not a great deal of elixir, but again, a lot of those gifts can spawn underneath the tree. And as we clear those, we'll allow more to spawn as well. A very cool addition, definitely a neat little twist in this year's holiday update. Now, as for the first actual gameplay sneak peek, this is something that I have been hoping for for a long time. I even asked about when I was in Finland, and it has to do with the longest three minutes of my day every day. The login screen when you're under attack. Sitting there waiting for that timer to count down, it seems like it takes forever. Desperately wanting to know what is going on. Well, now we don't have to wonder any longer. Yes, we will be able to see exactly what is happening. Live replays as our village is under attack attack and this isn't exactly what it's going to look like but it was just kind of my idea of being able to watch your village being attacked while you're waiting for that screen to load uh, instead of the timer just making you sit there and wonder you can actually watch and in this case in agony as uh, this attacker comes in after me with the uh, four golems coming from the bottom and you'll notice this is not the galatrap this is the galatrap 2.0 or something like that uh, i tried to make some minor modifications just to make things a little bit different here uh, did not work out very very well. Uh, this attacker was, however, held to only one star, so that town hall did defend. Now, Danny came from the bottom or the south of my southern teaser variant base here, and the layout served its purpose correctly. It guided the troops off to the left, off to the right. They spent a bunch of time working on those high hit point storages there, and that gave the defenses, the expos, the inferno towers time to burn through those units to slow them down, luckily stopping them before they could get to the town hall. Unfortunately, not stopping them before they get 50% right there and uh, boy am I glad that it was only one star because wait until you see the end of this battle this was actually a revenge attack and uh, Danny was only at 2900 or so trophies found me way up at about 3600 trophies and that made me a 57 trophy offer yes Danny was rewarded with 19 trophies for just one star a painful loss for me but I am very thankful that it wasn't two stars and more like 38 trophies. So we've gotten our first looks at the holiday update and let me tell you it is going to be full of surprises and interesting twists. I am looking forward to the rest of this week. More sneak peeks coming so be sure to stay tuned. Subscribe for daily Clash of Clans update news. Check out my other videos. Like, comment, subscribe, favorite. Let me know what you guys want to see, what you guys are hoping for in this holiday update and I will see you again tomorrow with more full attacks. Galidon, I want a gym box under my tray. <laughs> <laughs>